yeah, from your experience, when a team needs three points, how much difference does does it make? Will you take anything, an ugly 1-0 win on Saturday just to get the ball rolling? Yeah, you just want to get a result. You know, you want to get your, your first win under the belt as, as soon as you can. You know, as soon as the season starts, that hasn't been the case in the first three games. But, you know, we've got two games quick fire this weekend um, where we can put that right. You know, the lads, the lads are an honest bunch of lads and they know, they know what, what's expected of them. Mm. Um, there's lots of games at this level. Um, has it been good having a week away from the spotlight to um, on the training ground working with the players? Yeah, we certainly need to get the lads on the training pitch. And you know, I think sometimes the, the training pitch is their sanctuary. You know, they, they come in, they forget about things, they train, uh, they do their work. Um, it's outside the train, training pitch when they start thinking about things. So if we can get them on the pitch and um, thinking about their jobs and thinking about what they need to do to win the next game. Uh, I think that benefits them mentally as well. Mm. The player, we know the players who were here last season can do it. Um, we know they've got um, it's maybe it's a lack of confidence on Saturday mistakes. From your experience, again, when you need just to get the confidence going, what what's needed for that to happen? Uh, well, of course, just put just put things right on the training pitch. Really, that's that's what you can do, you know. And and when they go out on the Saturday, you have have no fear. Um, obviously, the first goal is quite important um, at the moment, especially um, for every game it is. Um, but this group of lads are, are a good group of lads that want to train hard. You know, they just need to go out and have no fear. A bit like they do, we see them in training every day. I think they need to, to do that now and again. Yeah, and in terms of the supporters, how big a role do they have to play on Saturday? Um, they've been asked to stay behind the team and the management staff. How important is it that they stay on board? It's very important. We all know that. We all know the answer to these questions. They, the fans that we have at this club are, are brilliant, you know, because they do, they do get behind the lads. They, we didn't know what to expect in the first home game of the season against Grimsby. It was on TV. Um, after what happened as well at the end of the season, we didn't know what kind of crowd we, we were going to get. I mean, ended up getting seven and a half thousand there. So that tells us that tells us it's a, a story itself about what our fans are like and what they what they are like, to, what they can do for this club. Um, and they've been great, and I'm sure they'll all come out in their, in their numbers on Saturday. And produce the same sort of performance they did in terms of support that they did in our first ten game. Mm. And Daryl Clark, I think, has been fantastic. He's really taken responsibility for for the for the lows as well as the highs. Um, have you had to help pick him up at all? What what's he been like? Has, it must be hard to keep his chin up sometimes. You know, what, he's a really passionate, enthusiastic manager who who understands what it takes to get this club back to where it needs to be. Um, he's been there before. You know, he 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 works tirelessly. He's um, He's great, you know. He, as a manager, you have to. You're gonna have days when you're down, um, and he, I'm sure he's had that, but he hasn't shown it. Mm. He's enthusiastic and he's infectious around the lads in terms of um, getting them going and um, trying to give them confidence. Mm. 